All right, so now we're going to talk about ions. So what is an ion? The answer, an ion is simply a charged atom. So the way that ions form is a neutral atom can either gain or lose electrons to become an ion. So consider a sodium atom. So I just have a regular old sodium atom. This sodium atom has 11 protons and 11 electrons. However, this sodium atom, in many chemical changes, can lose an ion to become a sodium ion. This sodium ion still has 11 protons, but now it has one fewer electron, or 10 electrons. This particular example uh, of an ion, or any positively charged ion, we call that a cation. All right, so now suppose we have a chlorine atom. So a good old chlorine atom. The chlorine atom has 17 protons and 17 electrons. It's charge neutral just like the sodium atom was. However, a, chlo a chlorine atom can gain an electron to form a chlorine ion or a chloride ion. And negatively charged ions are called anions. So cations are positive, anions are negative. And it actually turns out that in many cases, such as for the sodium and the chlorine, the ion is actually more commonly found than the, the neutral atom. So in the case of sodium, for instance, the sodium plus ion is more stable than the neutral sodium atom. If you don't understand what I mean, well, try, try dropping a block of sodium in water and see what happens. You'll get a violent explosion. But the sodium plus ion is relatively unreactive. And, I mean, ions are ubiquitous. They're, they're all around us. In fact, we actually eat ions. We eat uh, sodium chloride. So, sodium chloride... These are ions that form what we call table salt that we eat. And in ordinary matter, positively charged cations always, almost always um, occur next to negatively charged anions to, so that the overall charge is neutral, the overall charge of the matter. And this is why when we eat sodium chloride, yes, there are ions in there, but when we eat sodium chloride, it doesn't shock us because the positive and negative charges neutralize each other. So there you go. That was just a basic uh, lesson on what an ion is.